Um, who's your favorite player to uh, play against in the league? Do you have one? Who's your favorite player to uh, play against in the league? Do you have one? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, last year was the big three when they came. When we went to Miami and played them. I didn't play them at home. I was hurt, but um, playing those guys is, is like I me. Mean, obviously, it's, they're, the, they're the show around the league, so it was a lot of fun to play them. And then in Golden State, when we play the Lakers, it's always a big deal and a huge, huge atmosphere. So it's not an individual like playing, but when you get kind of some storylines with teams and all that, it's pretty cool. Okay, you know I noticed uh, since I think since your rookie season, you do pretty well against uh, Russell Westbrook. Do you, have you taken notice of that? Yeah, I mean, I play well against the Thunder. I, I don't know what it is. But I've had my problem. I guess if you looked at one team, I played the best against. It has been them for sure. Yeah, uh, I don't know why that is. Hopefully, it continues though. Yeah, definitely. You don't think it has anything to do with the matchup against Westbrook? I mean, he's a great player, so I don't know. Um, I always like you know getting up for for big time games like that, especially with him and KD and them making the playoffs, and that's something that we want to do. So we play. Uh, we usually play well, play pretty well against them, and and uh, myself included in that. So I play with Russell and KD on the World Championship team, so we go way back. So it's pretty cool to, to kind of take that connection and, and battle on the floor against each other. Yeah, and you guys played on the team together too for the USA team. Yeah. So, um, so what? Oh, how much do you weigh right now? Oh, it's I think I weigh one ninety right now. One ninety? Oh, that's that's. Do you do you it's, ever picture yourself gaining like maybe like up to like twenty, fifteen, twenty pounds? I wouldn't be able to do the way I do if I was. Um, it would change my game. Uh, so right now I'm comfortable with my size. It's just obviously with the NBA being, you know, a man's league and some physically dominating guys, you just got to be strong. So I've been working on that. I'm not going to be, you know, 6'3", 220, 210, anything like that. But if I'm, you know, 6'3", 190 and just strong and can hold my own on, and hold my position on the floor, I'll be fine. So yeah. I still want to have my smoothness I guess you want to say kind of being just fluid on the court and if I'm big stocky brawly 210 I don't think I can play like that yeah that's true <laughs> kind of like Baron, changing it to Baron Davis yeah I like to be a little wiry so yeah speaking of man's league your uh your goatee's growing out a little nicer that's just la huh <laughs> so that's just laziness oh <laughs> is that right there's no games to prepare for all I do is work out every day my wife likes it, so I keep it. Oh yeah, you got married recently, yes. right? Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm here at I'm I'm 29, by the way. Even though I probably look like your age. I'm I'm gonna look like you when I'm 29. So I like us young. We baby, you can you can be a baby face too. <laughs> yeah. Assassin. You like that? You like that nickname, <laughs> baby assassin? It was the first one I had when I was in college. So. Oh, I, I didn't know so, that. I don't know. The reporter for ESPN wrote a story about me my freshman year, and I, I've kept it. So. Oh, cool. okay. Um, oh, who do you hate to go against? Who, who's the one of one of those players that you just can't, you're not looking forward to playing at all? Steve Nash. Cause I try to play like him, and he's the guy that doesn't stop moving on the floor, and always has a a counter move to whatever you try to stop. So he's the guy that obviously at 38, I think he is now, or 30, yeah, 38. He's uh, still still doing it, so it's pretty pretty amazing. He's absolutely Ooh. unbelievable. He's, you know, how I said, I I think you have one of the top two shooting forms in the league. Steve Nash is in that top two, so um, I want to ask you about your 
Actually, before that, who do you think, who, how would you rank the top five point guards in the league right now? Top five? Yeah, top five. Let's see. That's tough. Uh, Chris Paul, Darren Williams, Steve Nash, Derek Rose. I'm going to put myself, Rondo, and Westbrook all in the same five A, B, and C. <laughs> I like that. It's, 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 it's a young guy. I'm trying to get to that top level, so I won't be. Was that? Too, I said I won't be that guy that says I'm the best at everything because obviously they're the better guy. So um, I'm I'm trying to get in that crack that top five on everybody's on everybody's ranking. I'm hoping you do. So, that's that's pretty good. Do you, did that this list that you just said is that in order? I would say so. I'm sure it could change based on what part of the season you're talking about, who's playing well, who's not. But consistently, that's pretty much the upper echelon of guys. Two seasons ago, uh, when when Der it was Derek Rose's second season, it was your first season, and uh, uh, what is it? Kenny Smith uh, came out and said that um, Derek Rose was already you know, in a different level. He was in the same level as Darren Williams and Chris Paul and Steve Nash was no longer in that category. What do you think of that? That was that was his second season. Say Basically, um Derek um what's his name? Kenny Smith said that he thought Derek Rose was already a level above Steve Nash in his second season. Oh Meaning, did he mean, well, maybe, did he mean during Steve Nash's second season that he thought he was better than Steve Nash at no. that current time? No, he thought that season, Derrick Rose's second season, Derrick Rose already was above Steve Nash. It was towards the end of the season. He was, he was exposed to that year. That's the year... When was that? That was the what did they do in the playoffs that year? Um, they didn't make did they make the playoffs that year? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Celtics. I think it was they played against the. That Celtics. That was his rookie year when he killed the Celtics. Yeah, and they lost yeah. in the first did, round. Didn't they play but, them again the second? Season? They played them again. I don't know, but either way, everybody's entitled to opinion. I don't know. Derek, Derek's a great. Derek's an MVP. So, I mean, that's the third he, season, though. Yeah, I'm saying his third. It, yeah, obviously Kenny Smith was on to something because he he got MVP during his third year, the youngest guy to do it. So I kind of um, thought I kind of thought that it was ridiculous for him to say that because you know Steve Nash he, he's just he's such an unbelievable player and uh, you know keeping the same level of play uh, during Rose's second season as the pretty he was pretty much the same player as he, he was his MVP season, you know. So. Yeah. So I made a YouTube video. He was alive. Yeah, he. I made a YouTube video saying how ridiculous that was, and uh, everybody came after me because they were like, they were saying how how uh, Derrick Rose was already so much better than Nash. I wanted to get your take on it. He. Uh, um. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a bit of an over, over, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but obviously one more year and he was an MVP. Yeah, that's, you know, I, I think becoming an MVP and just becoming so big like that, I think it was sort of like a team situation. They, they kind of, they kind of paved the way for him to become that because they pretty much got rid of Heinrich. So there was no backcourt to really you know share for him to share the ball with it was just he was going to be a one-headed monster point guard i mean when your shoot starting shooting guard is keith bogans obviously you're going to be doing a majority of the ball handling i thought that was a i thought that was a big factor in why he became the player he became in the third season opportunity 
That's for sure. That's what it takes in the league, for sure. You got to have the opportunity to, to shine and succeed or fail at it. Um, so he, he took that and, and ran with it, for sure. Yeah.